Hello there, another fight week is upon us. I'm delighted to be joined by Johnny Nelson and Matt Macklin to discuss matchups from week two of Fight Camp. Terry Harper puts her WBC world title on the line when she faces off against Natasha Jonas, the first all British women's world title fight. Matt, you're first to take the stand for your opening statement. Who wins this fight and why? So I'm going with Terry Harper. She's undefeated, she's got great momentum. Uh, she's improving every time. I think her and her trainer, Steffi Ball, are really in sync with each other. Um, the I think the timing of the fight suits Harper. I think Natasha Jonas, obviously very well schooled, good technical southpaw boxer. Um, 2012 Olympics, you know, eight years ago now, it's quite a while. I think she's probably missed the boat a little bit. She had that bad defeat against Obenauf and she has come back with a few wins since, but... I don't know, it's been modest opposition and I just think Harper's really bouncing into this fight. Her confidence is sky high and I think it's her time right now. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, very strong. Uh, Johnny, you're up. Agree or disagree, Harper or Jonas for you? Look at that smile on Matt's face. So I knew for a fact, <laughs> once I picked uh, Jonas, he said, I've got him, I've got him today. So I can understand why. I can understand the, the initial thoughts. But I'm going to throw caution to the wind here, and I'm going to go for with with the experience and the 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 the, the schooling she's got. Uh, has she still got it? Has it slipped away? I, I'm going to gamble that she's still got something left to handle such a to high pace, high tempo in in Harper, and and that's what it's going to be. It's going to be a tough fight for her, but I think she has the maturity at 36 years old to be able to deal with it. She's a little taller. Uh, she's got to take advantage of what she's got uh, uh, against Harper because if if she doesn't, I agree with that. Harper will get it, but I just think the seventh might be her night. I think I'm going with her, and so so I get it if I'm wrong, but I'm I'm gambling. This is my shout. This is perfect. We've got a debate on our hands. Thank God we haven't rigged it. We haven't told them to pick uh, the, the two different fighters. So let's let's break it down a bit. Matt, um, age. Age is just a number, but also it's youth against experience. Um, Harper's age, is it going to be a positive or a negative? Is she a little bit too green or is she going to be too fresh for uh, Natasha? No. No, I think too fresh, Andy. Um, you know, it, it can go one way or the other. Obviously, age is also experience, wisdom. But, you know, you, you lose that bit of youth. And I just think Harper looks fresh. She looks strong. Uh, she's confident. She's getting better better every single fight. Um, I just think that Harper, um, sorry, Jonas has, she's missed the boat a little bit with her career. I think she, you know, she, she was a good, she is a very good technical boxer. But I think she fell apart quite alarmingly against Oban House. She has come back with a few wins since. So she's got her confidence back a little bit. But it was against fairly modest opposition. People, you know, girls she was meant to beat and win comfortably against this is a you know she's making that big jump again now uh going in against um <clears throat> terry harper who like i say she's really on a roll and you know confidence is key when in, in boxing in, in sports in any you know you see strikers in football you know they can't score for love or money and then you know another time they'll hit their, their leg and bouncing when they're scoring that they're, they're going well and boxing similar and i just think she's Right now, uh, Terry Harper's, she's on a real roll. She's going to come into this fight with so much momentum, confidence sky high. And even technically, she's getting better all the time. She puts her shots together while well. she fights in combinations. She sets everything up behind the jab. And I just think that she'll be too much for Jonas. Johnny, presumably you disagree with everything that Matt's just said there. Um, Jonas, one thing, obviously the massive, extensive uh, amateur background. How key will that be or will it not be important? Two different sports, two different codes, amateur boxing and professional boxing. I think the only issue here is going to be pace. And Jonas has the experience to control the pace. You've seen coming through through and now she's a professional. The pace is the key because of, of Harper's youth. Um, Harper, uh, I think she's knocked out 50% of, uh, uh, of her opponents. And, and, and I think when she lost to, when she lost, lost to um, um, uh, Jonas lost to Oman House, I think she just underestimated what was in front of her. It's a, it's a mistake that most fighters do think it's a push over here because she wasn't that to lose that. She thought you thought she's got that, uh, and, but she made a, 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 a fatal mistake as a fighter to think this is a walk in the park and look at the fight after that. I, I believe she's got a lot left. I believe she's not even the finished article because she doesn't fight like a supremely confident individual. But I do believe she's got enough in the tank. I, think, I do believe that she, she, she has the experience if she gets the game plan right. She's just got to control Harper's pace because if she doesn't, that's going to be a nightmare for her. So she has the skills. She has the punching power. She has, she has 
she has she'll have the piss the, the, the fitness with with joe gallagher so therefore i do believe that she's got everything it's just about making sure that's in place matt obviously uh, tasha jonas is a southpaw do you think that um that could trouble terry harper at all yeah, it, it, it definitely maybe. You know, there's some people like southpaws and some people, you know, they really struggle. They can't, it affects their whole flow, the whole rhythm. You know, I guess the southpaw fighter, a lot of things that can happen is both the southpaw and the orthodox fighter, they cancel each other's lead hands out a little bit. So the jab, you know, becomes ineffective and it becomes the battle of the backhands then. And, you know, if you're someone that sets everything up after jab, like Terry Harper does, and likes to double up on that jab and come in behind it, you know, it can it completely throws off your rhythm. It can affect you badly. And it, um, so, look, that is definitely a possibility. That said, assuming that she can cope with the, the southpaw stance of Natasha Jonas, assuming that she gets good southpaw sparring, I still like the timing of the fight for Terry Harper. She's undefeated. She's bouncing into the fight. She's full of confidence. She's improving all the time. Um, and I do, even though, you know, she's only 36, uh, Natasha Jonas, I just, you know, eight years ago was the Olympics in London. She's been professional a long time. She had the loss. She took a bit of time out as well. I, I, I don't know. I just think that it's been a bit stagnated, her career. She hasn't really, she's not bouncing into this. There's no real flow to it. You know, it's, it's been stop, start. And uh, her comp I don't think her confidence is great. Uh, coming into it, even though she's had the few wins since, she'll know that that was against modest opposition opponents she was supposed to be and look good against. But I think uh, she knows against Terry Harper, she's fighting a young, hungry lioness who's in there, undefeated. She's world champion. And she, I think she's going to go up now uh, a notch each time, Terry Harper. I think she's still got a lot of improving to do. Uh, whereas I think Jonas is, I think she is the finished article and, and actually probably on the decline. Johnny, Team Jonas called it just a speed bump, the loss to Vivian Obanalf. Uh, in what ways can that sort of defeat, a stoppage defeat, affect Tasha? And do you fully believe that it was just a speed bump, that you can put that completely to the back of your mind? There are no lingering nightmares, lingering demons. I do believe it was a speed bump. I also believe that when things like this happen, you make sure that's never going to happen again. You respect your sport, you respect your craft, respect your opponent, regardless of who he, he or she is. And I think uh, Natasha made a bad, bad mistake, and and she thinks that reflects on her career. So I don't think that, that Natasha she doesn't exist anymore. That's gone. Now she's coming in. She knows she's up against somebody young, hungry, ambitious, successful. So therefore, she'll make sure she's ticked every single box. And, and we've all done it. We've all boxed people that that we've almost lost to or lost to, that we shouldn't lose to. So it's how she gets over that mentally. And, uh, and I'm quite sure within that camp, they'll know, you know, we, we slipped up here. Yes, she's mature now. She's a mum. She, she, she's, she's thinking, right, I can do this. I, I, I'm, I'm at that position now where I expect to pull this off. She has everything going for her, but I, I, I understand where Matt's coming from. Uh, the, the, the pace of Harper, again, I'll keep, I'll keep repeating myself, is the key. And, and if, and if uh, Natasha can cancel that out, then I think we get a victory uh, for Natasha, but it's a big, big, sh it's a big shout. It's a big if. Matt, your old trainer, obviously in the opposite um, camp, Joe Gallagher training Tasha Jonas, Mr. Meticulous, you could call him. You know that he's going to have a game plan. You know that they have worked on something. Um, how key could the corners be as well? Terry Harper's got the best trainer for her in Steffi Bull. There's a very close bond there. He's, you know, he's a manager as well. And he, they've, they've really, you know, they've, they've, they've traveled this journey together. And in, when he, she became world champion, that was, it was like him becoming world champion himself. He, he, he could see the passion and the, the genuine love and care he has for her and, and the job that they've done together. But, uh, you know, equally, Joe Gallagher, Joe Gallagher has done a great job uh, with Nat Natasha Jonas. She does have that one loss. And, you know, Johnny's right. Maybe that was just a blip. Maybe it's just a speed bump. But she, you know, she got stopped. She looked fragile that night. Um, she had a bit of time away since. She's come back. She had a few wins together. Look, but the corners are going to be crucial. But I, I don't think that um, one's got an advantage over the other. I think Joe Gallagher's a very good trainer. He's very meticulous, as you rightly said. He will, there'll be no stone left on turn whatsoever. Not just in the, the physical preparation, the fitness and the stamina, the sparring, but, you know, emotionally, he'll be trying to, he'll be trying to come across what way is um, uh, Terry Harper mentally. He'll be looking for little clinks in the armory and he'll be trying to stir, stir things up and create a bit of a, uh, 
he'll be trying to divide and conquer them a little bit in the, in the psychological warfare in the build up. Joe likes all that stuff, but uh, I think Steffi Bull and um, Terry Harper they're pretty solid. I think they're a close knit tight unit. Johnny, uh, Joe and Tasha have both said it's last chance saloon. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been there. What sort of mentality that 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 brings? Is it all just to fuel the the fire to become really self motivated, or do you think she is in the in the last chance saloon? And um, I don't know. Like I said, in what ways can being you know all or nothing change change things? It can change things. So one of the main indicators here is going to be how quiet or how loud Joe is coming up to this fight. Because Joe's one of those guys where if he's going to put his neck on the line, he puts his neck on the line for something he really believes in. So that's going to be a massive indicator. So keep an eye on, on Joe Gallagher in regards to, to how he shouts out about this fight, how he brags and boasts about how his fighter can come through this. When you put a fighter in that, that kind of pressure, you know if, if it's all online, the fun's over. If you decide to yourself, well, I really want out of this, then you've already checked out before the fight. But if you're given that, that uh, item to say, look, it's this, this or nothing. I didn't win a box Carl Thompson. If I'd have lost, I wasn't going to get a fourth chance to box for the world title again. That was me done. So to, and the pressure that was put on, I thought, mm -mm, this isn't going to happen. I'm, I'm giving it my all. I think Natasha, um, uh, she loves that sport. She, she, I, I, the, the sport is her life. Um, I think she's in that position where she thinks, I'm not going to make any mistakes here. So I think it's good pressure. That's the kind of pressure you need. Um, uh, because you know a, a loss, it'll take it away. All your credibility is gone. She's she's only been a pro for 10, 10 professional fights, so she can't she can't afford another loss, especially to another Brit. And I know it sounds a bit mad, but you think if you if you're really ambitious, you want to make sure that nobody in in in, in and you in, and you've got ambition about becoming a a champion. You want to make sure that I'm the king of my island, and I'll be able to beat everybody out there. And so this is, it's, it's bragging rights as well. You need, you need to mark your territory. And so I think uh, the pressure is good for Natasha. It's most important. Johnny, thank you. Matt, thank you. One thing we can agree on uh, is it should be another fantastic fight. Guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching at home. Keep your eyes peeled for the next episode. And don't forget, tune in on Friday. Fight Camp.